EAM, CMMS, GIS, APM. The alphabet soup of acronyms can be confusing. What do they all mean? How do these things work together? What is the difference? What do I actually need to manage the assets in my utility? There are three main things that you need to look after when you are managing the assets in your water or wastewater utility. Data and information, work and activities, performance and condition. When it comes to asset data and information, you need to capture and organize the data. You need to understand that data so you know what it all means. And you need to be able to report the results so you can share it with others. When thinking about work and activities, ask yourself who does what to which asset and when. How often? This includes planning and scheduling, issuing work orders, tracking and reporting, inventory and spares. For asset performance and condition, you need to know how well your assets are working to manage risk and operate your utility better. This includes assessing and monitoring the condition of your assets, managing sensors, analyzing the information collected, failure mode and condition libraries. Seem overwhelming? Don't worry. There are lots of tools out there to help you. Most people start with a CMMS. You might already have a CMMS or EAM, and you've probably wondered, what is the difference? CMMS, Computerized Maintenance Management System. A CMMS manages the maintenance activities for your assets. A mobile CMMS app allows workers to enter information on handheld devices in the field. EAM, Enterprise Asset Management. An EAM is an execution system that manages functions in addition to maintenance, like accounting, purchasing, and HR. Some people use EAM and CMMS interchangeably, but they aren't the same. A CMMS is generally just one part of a bigger EAM system. The important thing to remember about EAM and CMMS systems is that they help you manage the execution of your asset plans. What about GIS? GIS is a map-based system that helps you identify where your assets are and gather important local information. A GIS-based CMMS is very good for managing your collection and or distribution network assets. It isn't as effective for managing assets inside your treatment plants. So what is APM? Asset Performance Management uses process and condition data to help you understand your equipment and what's going on with it. APM delivers decision support to help you select asset strategies to improve safety, increase reliability and availability of your assets to increase production and reduce downtime. Bottom line, APM helps you make the asset strategy plans that your CMMS helps you execute. More and more water utilities of all sizes are adopting asset management programs to become more efficient and sustainable. Using some combination of CMMS and APM tools will help you do that. Many utilities have an assortment of software solutions from different vendors. This can be effective, but requires lots of work to make sure the different applications can work together. An ideal single solution includes both CMMS and APM functions with solid data analysis and reporting. It should also effectively manage both vertical and horizontal assets. The key features that will be most helpful are open APIs to integrate easily with your legacy systems, easy asset hierarchy setup, a mobile CMMS app, GIS integration, APM tools to manage asset performance and risk, strong reporting tools, and next level features like failure mode and asset condition libraries. Take the time to carefully select the software tools that will help you best manage the assets inside your utility. No matter what size your facility, there is a solution that will work for you. By deploying an asset performance and work management system, you will become a safer, more efficient, and more sustainable utility.